Hey guys, I'm Chris with GP Knives. We have a very special guest today from Kershaw ZT, all the way from Kershaw ZT. We have Andrew, and he's gonna show us the new 2023 lineup. Very cool stuff. Very excited about this this year. So this is the Kershaw Livewire. We're super, super excited. I mean, like years in the making, bringing an OTF, like an automatic OTF, yeah, finally. Right. Um, People have been asking for this forever. Right. Uh, really, really excited about this. So you've got just over a three inch blade, CPM 20 CV steel with a stone wash finish. Uh, you've got aluminum handle scales on the front, obviously in the back too. What I really like about this one is that the texture on it, I think aluminum handled knives can sometimes be a little bit slippery mm -hmm. in hand, uh, but this guy has enough texture on it to where you can get like a really solid grip on this and the action is just so smooth. I honestly, am, I'm really bad uh, personally at opening and closing uh, OTF knives. And this one is like so easy to use. So I think easy. that's a huge selling feature um, for this OTF. It's yeah, really, really smooth. Sure. The action feels fantastic. And I don't think you lose, like it still like shoots right out, you know? Yeah. Um, something we also, uh, we've talked about uh, was the, the clip. We got a deep carry clip on there. One of the nice things about OTFs is that you have a lot of real estate with that aluminum in that it's not open on the back, it's closed, so you have that wall all the way around. And so we thought it would be really neat to just tap the holes in there sure. and run it on the back. Um, just in general, like we're moving most of our knives towards like a deep carry pocket clip because that yeah. seems to be where like the industry is at. Oh, for sure. Um, so yeah, and you've got a um, steel button up top with a nice like stair step texture. I really like that too. A lot of times OTFs like the texture is so sharp that you're like, you need to band in your phone. Yeah, yeah, you know, you gotta, yeah. you're either gotta have really good calluses or you're gonna build really good calluses. But I feel like right. this one's like just in that sweet spot where you get that grip, mm -hmm. but it's not like cutting your thumb up, you know? Right. So I would say you guys came out of the gate firing. I mean, this is this is a premium out the front. I mean, I've handled a lot. Yeah. I've handled lots of brands about the fronts. This thing is, it just feels good. I love, I love the the finish on this aluminum. It feels great. It's not too slippery. Like you said, it's got good catch to it. Awesome grip on this. And you guys were like, hey, let's do 20 CV. Yeah. Let's start out with a premium steel. Yeah. I mean, very cool. Um, I love this like spear-shaped blade. It's got a swedge to it right on top here. It's just really good, good clean look to yeah. it. You know what I mean? Feels great in hand. I love the uh, just very minimal hardware on here. It's black. You know, everything's kind of blacked out. Mm -hmm. It's got these like these textures that are just like, it's like waves, man. Yeah. I love it. It's just all the way around. and. I don't think anything was overlooked on this knife. I mean, you got your USA on there, which mm -hmm. is great. I oh, love yeah. that. Um, the clip is super cool. I, man, I just I think you guys nailed it. Thanks. It's super a Super nice knife. So yeah, that's the Kershaw Livewire. And Very you guys are selling that for? We're gonna sell that for two thirty ninety five. Super great price for a premium OTF. I mean, yeah. come on. I'm really happy <laughs> That's with a that. great price, super great price. Yeah. Um, should we check out the launch? I'm really excited yeah. about this launch. Yeah, so this is the launch 15. Yeah, super cool. As you can see, micarta, right? Yeah, oh, I right love, there. we got micarta inlays on the front as well as on the back. You can see right there, and that's obviously, I love micarta patina mm. so well. I think the micarta really fits the essence of this knife too. It's yeah. meant to be a little bit more tactical, a little bit beefier. Uh, we've got Magna Cut blade steel on here. Whoa. I'm also really excited about. That's the first for us, uh, bringing Magna Cut to market. Huge, love that. And I think for a knife like this, that is slim, but is also meant to look a little bit tactical mm -hmm. and a little bit more of like a working knife, a little sure. bit beefier. Yeah. Having Magna Cut with that balance between edge retention and that like durability sure. uh, is is perfect for this. Oh, yeah. um, another detail that I really love. Uh, we've got a micarta little backspacer in there as well, which is a, this tiny detail. You almost miss it, but it, uh, I think it really helps tie the knife together. Yeah. You don't see a whole lot of inlays on out the, or out the fronts or out the sides, but automatics in general, because yeah. like you said, it's, they're usually with the aluminum, so sometimes they can be a little slippery, but adding that micarta just gives an amazing grip, even when it's wet. That's why I love it so much, Yeah. because it can get wet, and you're still going to have that tactile feel in hand, which is going to be amazing. I love the finish on the blade, too. Yeah. You got a black wash finish on there. Classic curve. And oh yeah. And it's great. Again, for this, like for a working knife, like yeah. that's gonna be perfect. Absolutely. So yeah, that's the launch 15. And you guys are selling that for 145.95. Yeah. Great price. Great addition to the launch family. So yeah. good. So really, cool. really happy with that. Yeah. All right, we've got one more USA item to talk about with you guys. Sure. Um, for 
And, you know, I feel it feels like a couple of years now people have been asking a lot about like ZT and mm-hmm. like, where are you guys at? Are you guys still around? <laughs> and I've been telling people, yeah, like, we've got stuff coming. Yeah. Um, but a lot of our focus has been honestly like on developing the OTF mm-hmm. and butterfly knives mm-hmm. and automatics and other things that tend to fall more in the Kershaw line. So we've got a ZT. I'm really excited about this. This is the ZT6. It is a fixed blade knife, um, like the name, six inches long mm-hmm. in the blade and the handle's about five inches long. We've got CPM 3V steel on that, which for a knife like this is money. Yeah, so good. that's awesome. Love that. It's just hardworking. I mean, it just screams hardworking. It's got that tactical look to it, but I could see using it anywhere. I mean, I yeah. would throw it in my pack. It's great camping, hiking, whatever you're doing. I would take it with you. It's hardworking knife. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use mine on a lot of camping trips for sure. Uh, you've got really nice thick blade stock on there. I think that's about 156 blade yeah. stock. Uh, again, 3B solid steel. What's the finish on that again? How'd you guys do yeah, that? Yeah, so like, we did a, a bead blast finish and then we Cerakoted it with a clear Cerakote. Oh, okay, that's right. Which yeah. is really nice. So you've got that, you've got a nice Cerakote finish on there, but it also doesn't look like it's been So you're really protecting that steel too, because oh, it's yeah. like a high carbon steel. Yeah. You want something, some protection there from the corrosion. You need that for exactly. sure. Exactly. Uh, and so you've got that on there with that Cerakote finish. One of my favorite things about this knife uh, is that we have a guard on it, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of fixed blades just have the two, you know, two slabs on there, which is solid. Sure. Um, but with the guard, um, sometimes those can be a little bit rattly. But what we've done is we've put this pommel cap on the butt of the knife here, and there's a hex nut on the inside. You tighten the screw, and it pushes the handle scales forward, pushing the guard into that. This these stops on the blade, so it feels like rock solid in your hand. Very well thought out design, very cool. Which is what you want. It's yeah. like ZT, you yeah. want it to be premium. Right. Like, and so um, super, super cool. I really love that. The G10 handle scales feel really good too. Yeah. Uh, I really like that. And the OD green color too, I think fits that kind of outdoor tactical vibe. Exactly, exactly. It just looks like I can put it through just about anything. Yeah. You know? It's just, it's gonna be a workhorse. Yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy we use 3V on this too. Pretty Usually sweet. on, you know, ZTs we're using like M390 or 20CV, right. right. but for a outdoor, like heavy use knife, I mean, 3V is where Sol- it's at. Solid, dude. Yeah. That thing's awesome. Super stoked about that. Um, so it's actually inspired by the ZT9. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's kind of a throwback to that. Um, sure. But the ZT9 was like a super cool knife. It was like bayonet knife, really interesting. Uh, but because of how big it was, it's a little harder to like, carry on your camping trip and make yeah. fire with you know yeah, so i yeah. think this is something that's going to be a, similar to that in aesthetics but a little bit more accessible absolutely it's something i think you can throw in your pack attach to your pack whatever your gear is you know yeah. i just think that's the knife that you want it's yeah. a great outdoors knife Love S- it. super super cool comes with a kydex sheath as well um which is yeah super super cool we worked with some awesome guys down uh, just a little bit south of our factory in oregon on this and they did a fantastic job the retention on this is like just what you want. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna stay in there. We've got a secondary retention strap as well though. Oh cool. In case you want to carry it like on your on your oh, backpack sure. strap. Do vertical carry. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Um that way it's extra secure, but I mean it's not not going anywhere. It comes out when you want it to, stays in when you need it to. So perfect. Yeah. That's the ZT6. Very cool design. Guys you can grab that for 320 at GP. Great price. Yeah. So let's go on to import stuff. Okay. Um, I wanted to look specifically with you at four Knives that have a new Ooh, locking mechanism. Have a new for lock. Us. Yeah, very exciting. So we are calling it the Dura Lock, uh, but it's a standard crossbar lock. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so we've got four knives that use that. Cool. So which one do you want to look at first? Jeez, you know what? This one has to be the the one standing out to me. The that let's, guy right let's there. Let's do it. This is the Kershaw Iridium. Uh, this is also, I think, of our what we have this year is probably my favorite knife on yeah, the table. Yeah, uh, we got deep, I can definitely see one. Yeah, I. I <laughs> Just looking at it. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, super stoked about this knife. You got just over a three inch blade. Um, you got D2 steel with a stone wash finish on the flats and beautiful satin grinds on there. Yeah. Really like how that looks. Mm-hmm. We've got contoured aluminum handle scales on the front and the back. Super simple, super clean. Feels really good in hand. We've got an aluminum backspacer as well with a little bit of that color pop in there, a bronze and Love that, love that yeah. pop of color. And you got that lanyard loop there as well. You got a deep carry clip that'll work on the front and the back, and it has our Duralock right. mechanism, uh, which is really nice. Um, if you guys you know are familiar with knives, you've probably seen this before. 
Uh, but it's really nice because it's super fidgety and it's nice that you can kind of keep your fingers out of the way. Mm -hmm. And you can see on this one, we use ball brain washers. So that blade like drops oh, shut. Super smooth. Glassy yeah. smooth. Yeah, yeah it that. is. Opens really easy with that thumb stud and just, like I said, it just drops. It's, yeah, there's a reason why it's one of my favorite knives. It's a beauty, man. It looks, I, I think everyone's going to love this knife. Once you get it in hand, so great. So smooth. The handles feel great. Yeah. I love the blade shape. Love that finish. So clean. Yeah. Thanks. So yeah, that is the Kershaw Iridium. That Iridium is going to sell for $60.95 at GP. Nice. Let's look at the Heist next. So this guy is a little bit smaller than the Iridium. Uh, I like this size a lot, actually. I think for this one, I think for me, the Iridium is like that kind of like showpiece knife, you know? Yeah. Uh, and I think this is more of like the, the, working, the working knife, sure. working Duralock knife that we have. We've also got D2 blade steel on there, super thin blade, really nice slicey edge, great blade geometry on there, stone wash finish. Got glass filled nylon handle scales on the front and the back. I really like the texture on this. It's really grippy, super ergonomic handle. But not to where it like hurts your hand or anything, just good grip. Yeah, yeah. just good grip, yeah. Um, even got a little bit of jimping on that liner there so you can get a grip there as well. This guy runs on flat bronze washers. Oh, okay. Which are really nice. I actually, I really, I love the glassy smooth feel of the washers on the Iridium, those bearing washers. Mm -hmm. But for this one, having those large, flat bronze washers, once they break in, have this like buttery smooth. Oh yeah, for sure. I don't know how to like, I feel like <laughs> glassy smooth, buttery smooth. If you feel them in hand, you can tell. Yeah. Um, and it's just, yeah. Great action on that too. So good, dude. Yeah. Um, so yeah, again, crossbar lock, our Dura lock mechanism in there. You can see we got two spacers in the back as well. Nice open, open design. Deep carry clip, looks front and back. Love that. Yeah, and Love you, that. you got steel liners under all the way. Our steel liners run all the way front to back. Oh, cool. Underneath, so they That's are nice. inset. And it makes you feel like, you know, it's a lot stronger. It's like, it's definitely, you know, you got these like, oh, it's kind of like the polymer handle, but man, I've got steel liners underneath. I feel good about it. Yes, you know? exactly. So definitely confidence in the hand. On yes. That one. It's really nice. 100%. So love, love the heist. And that comes in at? The heist is fifty one ninety five at GP. Wow. That's good price, wild. right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got two more. So those two, uh, I love the design. I love the materials that we're using. Sure. The action solid. Mm -hmm. These next two that we're going to do, I think, stand out because usually knives that use this like kind of Duralock, crossbar lock style mechanism use thumb studs. Mm -hmm. Personally, we talked about this earlier. We both love thumb stud knives. Yep. Um, but a lot of people love knives with flippers. And I think for Kershaw in particular, um, because of our assisted opening mechanism that's been out for so long, the flipper is like, we didn't invent it, but it's for sure in our DNA. Right, definitely. So doing a Duralock knife with a flipper is actually, it's really challenging from a design I was standpoint. Gonna, that was the word I was coming to mind on me. It was like, yeah. that's had to have been a challenge. Yeah, uh, it, it is, but both of these stand up. I've like handled a lot of different knives in the industry mm -hmm. that have flippers and both of these have the action that they need right. to have. It's not like getting hung up on the lock or mm -hmm. anything while it's engaged. It's just smooth up, just out the front yeah. out the back, just. yeah. Just real smooth, I love it. I Same, so these both have bearing washers. Let's look at the monitor first, that's mm -hmm. this guy. You got about a three inch blade, very much that tactical look, all blacked out. Yeah. You've got a uh, G10 texture on these glass fold nylon handle scales. Oh, cool. um, both of these knives too, um, all of them actually have like full liners mm -hmm. uh, front to back, which solid. is nice. Um, so yeah, it's gonna give you really solid construction there. Got that Duralock, uh, and again, just like drop shut with the bearing washers on there. Um, really good flipper placement on both this and the other one. Uh, yeah, you got a deep carry pocket clip that if you pull this screw out, you're going to be able to flip it around mm. for ambidextrous carry. Excellent. Another great thing about Duralock type yeah. knives is yeah. completely ambidextrous. Everyone can use them. It's great. Yeah. So that's the monitor, which comes in at... That one is $54.95. Cool. Awesome price on that. Yeah. Yeah. Again, D2 steel on that too. I don't know if I mentioned oh, that. Oh, very cool. Yeah. yeah. And then this is the covalent. Um, Really comfortable blade, contoured, glass with nylon handle scales, uh, D2 steel, great grinds on that blade, um, kind of drop point, clip point style. I love the blade. gray on that too. It's yeah. got like, it's kind of a two-tone looking to it, but I love the gray. It's I do gray too. With the black. Yeah. It like comes out like really, really nice. Yeah. Um, again, action with that Duralock mechanism is just money with mm. the bearing washers there. Looks like you guys nailed it. I, <laughs> I gotta say. I love it. I Like I said, I've Played with a lot of different knives with yeah. flippers. It's hard to do a flipper well, but both of these like achieve that. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, so that's the covalent D2 steel, about just over a three inch blade uh, with our Duralock mechanism. 
Everyday carry ready. Yeah. I mean, for sure. Yeah. The covalent is going to be $54.95 as well. So the first one we've got here is the flyby. This guy is assisted. Ooh, cool. Uh, I, I really like, it's like kind of a stealthy vibe, yeah. you know, very much like that kind of like jet, you know, like fighter jet kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. um, steel handle scales, frame lock, assisted open. What's really nice about this is that it's assisted and has D2 steel on oh, there. Nice. And you've got nice like flat grinds on there, really high grind panel, so it's super slicey. Um, this one is just like an everyday carry dream. Um, and we've even put like a little bit of a chamfer on that lock bar there if you want to take a look awesome. so that when you're unlocking it, it feels oh, super for sure. nice. Yeah, that's nice. And it's not like, you know, it looks like it might be slick, but it's not too slick. It feels good. Yeah. I love that blade shape. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That, uh, the handles have a great PVD finish, with, I think, which I think really helps with that, like keeping it from being too slick in the hand, you know? Right. Get a little bit of grip Definitely. on it. All right, that one is forty eight ninety five at GP. Which for like D two steel frame lock, I feel like it's pretty solid. Oh, it's solid price. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the next one we got is the conduit. Um, this is another one that for me definitely stands out in the line just because of the profile. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Mm. Very much a tactical style knife, spear point blade. You got some really like almost oversized jimping on that spine. Yeah, be really good grip. Textured handles with contour. Super ergonomic knife. This one, if you're looking for like a workhorse knife, is going to be money. In a kind of a smaller package too. I like yeah. the size on that one. Definitely. Yeah. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's kind of like right sweet spot size there. Exactly. All black barrel spacers. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Yep. And we even got one of those spacers in the back has that that lanyard hole feature as well. Nice. Which is really nice. We've got deep carry clip. Works on both sides. Perfect. Uh, liner lock knife. Super, super solid. Great action. Awesome. It's the conduit. Cool. Conduit's going to be $30.50 at GP. Great nice. price, man. Yeah, be <laughs> super, super stoked with that. So yeah, let's take a look. This one's called the Lateral. Uh, so we actually have these in two finishes, if you want to snag that guy. Awesome. We've got it with a stonewashed blade and a black oxide coated blade. Um, that one also has serrations. This one is a clean, sure. clean edge. Sure. Uh, these guys also are assisted liner lock. Uh, what I like about these is that the handles are a little bit like a little bit larger, you know. So if you've got like bigger hands, you want something you can really like sure. choke up on. I think these are going to be really comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, again, deep carry pocket clip that's going to flip. Um, really nice blade shape on these with that recurve. Yep. Um, almost reminds me of the blur a little bit mm -hmm. um, with that. And I think that's just like again for like a working knife. Like these both, I think are going to be yeah, really. Yeah, I think solid. these are great everyday yeah. everyday carries for sure. Yeah, you've got eight CR steel on there. Um, so super solid. Um, yeah, lighter lock knife. That's the lateral. Yep. What are these coming at? Let's see. We got the lateral at thirty-eight fifty and forty-one ninety-five for the black serrated. Nice. Very good everyday carry. Easy to sharpen, budget-friendly knives. Yeah, I like that. Well, let's take a look at this next one. This is the Shoreline. Uh, in the same way that I liked the other one for having like a larger handle. Sure. This is like on the other side of that. So if you want a really slim EDC. This one is the guy for you. Uh, this is the Shoreline. Its handles are super well contoured, so it's really ergonomic, even though it is a little bit smaller and slimmer. Yeah. Super comfortable in hand. Super pointy. I love that blue yeah. shape. Okay. Yeah. And you've got a good grind on there, too. I think like that about a lot of our knives is that I think especially even as I've seen Kershaw develop over the years, I think getting that blade geometry right mm -hmm. is something like all of these knives on the table right now, I'm like really proud of. Yeah. It's very utility. You get something yeah. that everybody can use yeah. every day. Yeah. I, you got to nail that. That's what I love about them. It's so important. So, and I think this one does it really well. Yeah. Um, you got good blade stock on there too. This blade looks like it's right about three inches, maybe a little bit over that. I was going to say, it looks like a pretty thick blade stock. Yeah. It's a solid user. It is going to be a solid user. Um, but again, like super slim, comfortable in hand. You got a deep carry clip that'll work front and back. Mm. Uh, glass filled nylon scales over stone wash liners, steel liners. Um, also assisted uh, 8CR steel. Um, that's the shoreline. Love it. The shoreline is going to be 3050 at GP. Tight. All right. And now we've got two more assisted that I want to show you. And then we've okay. got two, three more actually um, that are a little bit more out there. And we'll wrap up on this. Okay. So this first guy right here, Outcome. What I really like about this one, because it's a frame lock, super, super slim mm. in hand. And I like just the shape overall. It feels like your like standard, simple, clean EDC knife. Right. Um, you've got, again, pretty good blade grinds on here, 8CR steel, so it's going to be really easy to resharpen. I really like the blade shape on this, like that in between, like a spear point and a drop point. Sure. Um, you got glass hole nylon backspacer, 
deep carry clip that'll work on the front and the back. Sure. Um, I also really like on this guy, we've put, added a little bit of fine detail jimping mm. on that lock bar. It's just gonna help you grip that a little bit Easy. as you go to, to unlock that knife. Sure. Um, yeah, super comfortable. The Where the flipper is, even with this high stop pin, just like feels really good, solid snappy action. action. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I really like that one. All right, what's that one called? That's called the Outcome. The Outcome will sell for thirty-eight fifty. Sweet. And then this one right here is called the Radar. Radar, cool. Yeah, again, frame locks, it's gonna be super slim. Uh, black wash finish, so it's gonna hide any scratches that you get on it really yeah. well. Uh, you've got excellent blade grides on here with a drop point blade, 8CR steel, deep carry clip that works front and back. Solid. Yeah, yeah. Definitely love that black wash, man. Yeah. Such a good finish. <laughs> it, it's, it looks really good. And on this one, it's particularly nice. I love the, the two spacers in the back too are really nice. And you even got these kind of oversized flat handle screws on there, which give it a really nice clean look. Does that have like a lock bar kind of? Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got, kind of a neat feature. We've got an over travel stop in the back yeah, there as well, cool. which is a really good feature. Thanks that's for calling that out, Chris. No problem. Yeah. So that is the radar. 4595 at GP. Great Super price. solid. Yeah. All right. So now the last three knives are a little bit like off like the beaten path for us a little bit. First one we've got is called the front runner. Front yeah, runner. Sorry. Okay. This one's called the front runner. Um, we've got D2 blade steel on here. As you can see by the handles, this one's like a little bit more complex. Mm. You know, I feel like it's like the opposite of this. You know, this one is super clean, super Traditional simple. Traditional kind of looking. This is like kind of a little more modern. Yeah. yeah. Very much like that concept car uh, kind of knife. And so you've got a handle structure that's a little bit more complex. This guy was inspired by the ZT999. Oh yeah, um, we were talking about that earlier, like the 990. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. yeah, yep. and the like 990, yeah. totally. So you've got this almost like kind of flying bridge look up here. We've got steel liners, and on top of that, we have a couple of steel handle pieces oh, that okay. kind of fit together for that. We've got PVD finishes all around, gray PVD on this part of the steel, and then we've got a bronze PVD on those highlighted areas right there. We've got G10 pivot collars right here oh, that wow. go up and cover that stop pin as well, but the stop pin is anchored in steel liners in the back. Oh, interesting. So super okay. sturdy. We did not sacrifice anything. Even though this knife looks crazy. It's, it's actually very strong. Very strong, yeah. very solid. Yeah. Uh, we've got a nice chamfer on that lock bar as well, so it's super comfortable. Runs on ball bearing washers. Um, I really love the action on this one. Um, I was really just gonna nice. say, the action looked amazing. Yeah. I was like, wow, that's that's not speed tape. That's bearing. No, oh, very cool. 100%. Awesome. And then we've got a backspacer and a lanyard pin in the back. We've got a single position deep carry clip on there as well. Cool. This inlay or overlay works as an over travel stop also. Sure. So. Yeah, a lot going on on that knife. I think anybody who's into like modern futuristic looking stuff is gonna have to have that. Absolutely. That's a cool knife. Yeah, I think what I love most about it is that it looks wild, yeah. but it doesn't sacrifice the function or the right. lockup or any of those right. like performance things. Sure, So super cool. Yeah, yeah, so that's the front runner. That is the front runner. He will be 66.95. Tight. GP. All right, and then we've got the Strata yeah. Cleaver. There you go. That was That's a popular knife, the Strata. I'm glad to see you guys are gonna grow that line. Yeah, what are your thoughts on this one? It's super cool. So number one, cleaver blades are awesome. Yeah. And big knives are cool. So yeah. I think it's I think it's gonna be a winner. <laughs> I love it. What I liked yeah. about the Stratas was that they're massive. Like for Foley knives, yes. they're huge. But they're still like really slim. Yeah. So like when you're carrying it in your pocket, it doesn't feel like you're carrying a massive knife. Exactly. And even with like the deep carry clips like this, it looks like a normal knife. And then you like bring the knife out and it yeah. just keeps coming, you know? Right. Um, so this is really similar to the Stratas. Mm -hmm. um, I actually like this one from a design standpoint a lot better than those. I think the cleaver blade balances out really well how long and slim the handle sure, is. Yeah. Really comfortable in hand. We've got a really generous finger choil here. Um, so you can really choke up on this guy. Um, so again, going to be, it's like, looks fancy. It's mm -hmm. got great materials, but it's also going to be a really good, like heavy user knife. It even looks like, you know, straight razor inspired. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like even the whole thing, just the way, you know, the handle's kind of curved, you Absolutely. know, it's just super neat the way it looks. It's like a modern, you know, straight razor that you can use. Every yeah. day. So I love that. Yeah. We've got a couple little accents here. We've got steel, um, pivot collar and two spacers that all have a bronze PVD finish on them. We've got a steel, um, Frame lock on yeah. the back handle, G10 on the front, which is really nice. Um, another thing, like I mentioned on, on that other one, we've got a steel 
insert on the inside of that G10 to mm -hmm. anchor that stop pin. Sure. So it's just gonna be like super solid lock up on there. Awesome. And that's bearings, is that right? It is on bearings, awesome. yeah. Very it's got cool. really, really nice action. Super, super smooth. It's really big, <laughs> but uh, yeah, super smooth, really sleek. Yeah, yeah the, the big hand camera. guys are gonna love it. Oh. <laughs> that one is going to be 65.95. Awesome. And then last but not least, we have a butterfly knife trainer. Oh mm. gosh, sorry, I'm not a flipper. In case I'm, you I'm not very good at it myself, but I know there's a lot of fans out there. We've had a lot of success with the Lucha. Mm -hmm. They did really well. Oh, for sure. Uh, and so we wanted to get, if you want to get a Lucha, but you want to practice a little bit before sure, you get one, sure. this is kind of entry level for you on that. This one's called the Balanza. Okay. Um, which means obviously balance as you're practicing flipping knives. I think sure. that's something that's really important in this. Uh, and what's really nice is that this is really well balanced. It has steel handle scales, but because of how they're stamped and how they're like weight relieved, um, it's balanced really well with this blade. Very cool. I think really the price on that's gonna, it's just gonna blow people's minds. It's forty two ninety five. Yeah. for a trainer belly. I mean, you just, that's unheard of. It's pretty so, good. So very cool. Yeah, that's what we got you guys. Yeah, thanks for joining us, man. That was, that was great. I love seeing this stuff and yeah. it's awesome to see a sneak peek like this. Yeah. Very cool. Thanks for I hope me. you guys loved it. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. And big thanks to uh, ZT and, and Kai for sending Andrew out here. Letting us check out the 2023 lineup. If any of these caught your eye, definitely be sure to check out our website, gpknives.com. You can sign up for our newsletter there. It'll link you to all our socials so you can be the first to know when these new items are coming out. Appreciate you guys so much.